Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is a new day. It is a new day. The sun is shining. I'm outside. Maxine's out here. It's beautiful. Ugh, great morning. So usually I start my videos out and I'm like, hey guys, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. I'm going to try not to do that. The reason why I did that is because I would film when I, we lived in the mountains. We would film, I would film and then I would get all my videos uploaded on one day. I would go to a place where they had good internet and I would upload all my videos at one time because I started doing it and like trying to upload through the night and I was missing it. It would get thrown out. It was just not working at all. And so um, I filmed and then I would post a week later. That's just how I did things. And it worked out. It worked out great. Well, now we live in the land of the amazing internet. Amazing internet. I'm shocked because the price I'm paying for really good internet here, like I, the guy was like, well, you don't need that good of an internet. I'm like, oh no, no, no. I will pay more so that it has really good. He's like, are you sure? I'm like, absolutely. I am sure. <laughs> so I'm like, give me that fiber optic. He's like, you'd probably be fine with the other stuff. I'm like, eh, and I probably would be, but I was like, I'm not taking any chances. So the price I'm paying for my fiber optic awesome internet is the price I was paying a really bad, really bad internet in the mountains that barely worked, barely worked. And so I am very thankful for good internet here. <laughs> it's a positive. So anyways, that's making like the day we're doing, life is different, life is different. And it is, it's with everybody. It depends on your seasons. Even the last year with Greg being here and me being there, it's like life is different. We did things differently. And so, you know, in seasons with kids, I've got Jaden's off now working and, and now I'm driving Brooklyn. Now I've just have four at home and it's like and things, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different. And so that's why my channel and what I do changes. My kids grow up. They come out of the kid age and become teenagers. They don't wanna be on camera anymore as much. And sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. And that's quite all right. So it changes, it changes on everything. It's like, and it's not so much that, it's just that you get more followers, you get more things and it's just, it changes. It changes the dynamics. And, I, and anybody who does film their life understands what I'm talking about. And so it's just, you just change things. You change things maybe as life changes or things happen or situations arise and you're like, you don't always want to talk about it on camera because you don't want to give any place to the enemy. How's that sound? <laughs> so, but you're trying to safeguard the things in your life. So, you, the, you know, people do things unfortunately and they, um, in a negative way. And sometimes all they want is like for you to validate it and for you to talk about it, for you to say like, and, and I get that. And I know people do like responding to negative hate comments and videos on those. And those are fine because we do at our own home and we kind of laugh about it. Whenever there's a bad comment that comes up, we kind of like joke about it and laugh. And we'll joke, even like the Lowe's Home Depot debate, like it is just like that between Greg and I is just like playful fun. But it's like, I see that people think that we're very serious. We're actually not very serious about it. We're just kidding and playful and having fun. And so it's different things like that, that we can joke about in the family. Cause we're like, really? Cause obviously people do not know everything going on. And so it's just you. And I believe strongly that some people just want to hear like, Hey, I heard that comment that that person said and look at it and it's almost like they get a little it's, ter it's mentally wrong because they almost get like a high from it that someone said something about it it does that make sense like people will post like i know they'll put like on the screen like from a user and it's something real negative and then it's like it's like giving that person the enemy like place like don't do that you don't even need to do that like don't even acknowledge so i know but it's hard because you don't always talk about it but i i see it because now doing youtube and doing the whole online thing for quite some time now i see others and i see others and what they um i'm like okay how come they didn't say anything about that i'm like oh i see why they didn't say anything about that and because who wants to give any place to it? So I know in my own life, I don't always answer everything. I don't always respond to every comment. If someone asks me something, I might get rid of it because you know what? It's, I'm not gonna give any place or open up anything that is gonna give people a chance to come in and attack my me. Does that make sense? I mean, people are gonna attack me. Yeah, people are gonna attack me because people do. <laughs> but it's like to just not even acknowledge it because it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it or maybe it's not the time to talk about it. That's the key and I know there's a lot of things that have happened in my life and because you're on here and people like want to assume and presume and just say and they want to know, they want to know, they want to know, they demand and push, 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 push. When any time anybody is push, 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 pushing, they want to know, they want to know. And there's nothing wrong with curiosity. There's nothing wrong with asking, but the pushers. Anytime anybody's pushing, guess what? God is not a pusher in anything he does. God is a gentle, loving, maybe a little nudger, but never a pusher. So anytime anybody's pushing, stay out of it because it's, there's nothing good 
coming out of it. They just want to demand and know. And it almost gives them like a high knowing like, oh, like this or what. It's just, it's so wrong. So don't even bother with it. <laughs> I don't even bother with it either. So anyways, where did that whole negative thing come from? I don't even know. But anyways, it's a good morning. I'm outside here. It's beautiful. I was going to come swimming this morning, but I got up instead and went upstairs and edited for a little bit, did some emails and stuff. And I'm like, I'll come out today when this, it's blue sky today. I'll come out today and swim and just enjoy the sunshine this afternoon. So we're out. Greg's been working in the pool, getting it all. I mean, like amazing. It's beautiful. Absolutely love it. We did nothing this week. Well, we didn't do nothing this week. We were busy Saturday. Sunday, we, I know it's Tuesday, but Sunday we did um, church and came home and just had the most relaxing day. Like I haven't, we were gonna do stuff and I looked at Greg and I said, let's do nothing. Let's do what we're supposed to do, which is resting. Let's rest so that we can be ready for our week. And I'm glad we did. We laid in bed and just relaxed, watched some videos and just, absolutely did nothing and that was so nice it was so nice to do that so then i woke up today and i'm like all right today's my day to start my day so i thought i'd come outside chat with you for a minute and get rolling i know there's a monday in there too because again i filmed on the weekend but it's just going to be a good day today so i have things to do the house has to get picked up i've got like i said two girls down two girls um off working that we have to i have to run brooklyn and Jaden will be off on her own and then um i just have the two boys so we're going to be doing live. We're going to go inside. We're going to get things done. Does that sound good? All right, let's go inside. First, I'm going to go get a crock pot meal rolling because sometimes what I do is I just rely on leftovers and then the dinner hour comes and I'm out here in the pool and the, sky, the sun is shining. And it's like, ugh, it's so nice out. Let's have burgers on the smoker. Or let's have hot dogs or let's do pizza or something I don't have to prepare. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and be intentional and do a crock pot meal. Does that sound good? Then it's done. I won't have to worry about it. <laughs> All right, let's go in, make some dinner. All right, let's go. So what I'm gonna do for a quick, easy dinner, I do have some leftovers, so I'm not gonna worry about making a ton of it, but this is a dish that I really enjoyed making. We did a freezer meal way back, I'm gonna say it was last year, and it was so, so good. So I'm gonna make it in my slow cooker. And what I'm gonna do and try this time is slow cooker liners. So a lot of you told me about it, and I'm like, I don't mind cleaning the slow cooker, I really don't. But one thing that I, sometimes wish I had is the double slow cooker. You know how you have it and there's like a separate part, but not always because I don't always use it. So I was looking up um, just different recipes and I saw that if you can use two liners to keep your food separated in the slow cooker, I'm like, that is genius. So that is what I'm gonna do because this will contain all the heat. Everything will stay inside this way. And I'm like, I can just throw it in right now and it can be done. I don't have to worry about it anymore. So this is a beef and broccoli dish. And what um, I'm gonna not do is add the broccoli right now because it does get smushy and yucky after a while if you you know cook in there too long but i will throw it in later on today after the meat has cooked so this i'm excited to try because i've never actually used a slow cooker liner bag ever has anybody else i'm sure you guys do i think the cleanup would be a thousand times better so i thought this will be great in here so i'm going to do the meat one first and then i will um just pull it over the side and I'll do rice and we'll cook that together and I'll see how it does. I'm sure it'll be fine, it'll work out. So what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna have, I have some beef cut up chunks, it's still frozen. I was thinking it was gonna thaw, but it's not. And this is just, I think this was London broil. Okay, one second. Come right here, this was a London broil and I just cut it up. So this, the recipe says to use round steak, but I like the lemon broth because it doesn't have the fat on it. So this is gonna be beef, this is beef broth, so I'm gonna add this to it. It's just beef bouillon, that's just cheap. You can do whatever you want. Let me get my whisker. What you do is add to this, you're gonna add garlic. So I'm gonna add some minced jar garlic. I like a lot of garlic, so I don't mind that. You're gonna add sesame oil to this. And then it's gonna be soy sauce. One and a half cups of soy sauce? I feel like that's a lot of soy sauce. We'll see. I'm more of a tasting person. So let's add it and see. We'll see what it tastes like. I'll, I'll write the exact recipe on here and I'll tell you what I think the flavor is in sesame oil. And then I'm going to add brown sugar. This is so good. The last time we made it, I thought it was really delicious. All right, let's mix that up. I feel like that mixture is really good actually. So follow it to a T, I just added more to mine. And I'm just gonna pour this into my slow cooker right here. So this is gonna go right in here. It's a lot of liquid, but how great is that? 
Okay, so this, can I do this? I'm gonna push it to the side. Can I do that? Just put a little bit of rice on the one side. I think I can do that. Okay, we're gonna try this. So I'm gonna get another bag out here. I'm thinking this is gonna work. Some rice. Gotta get a measuring cup. Would this be a good idea or a bad idea? I will let you know. <laughs> I wanna make sure I don't overfill it. Let me get a glass cup. I wasn't sure if I could add more in here, but I think I can. So let me do. It's like a gonna do it. Always push everything to the max. All right, let me have one more cup of rice. Am I gonna be out of rice? I think I got, look at that, time to fill my rice container. Okay, I just want a little bit more. Let's just use that up. Okay, look at that. So this is going to be I'm excited to try this. So, I'm gonna carefully, carefully, I guess I have to watch the, the plastic here. It's gonna work, right? Just put the lid on it and turn it on high. You could do low, I'll do high. So what I'll do is I'll cook this and then as the, the rice probably, I'm sure will finish before the um, meat will and then I can take that whole bag out and then I can finish it with the broccoli and that. So that's awesome, so I'm excited. This like just made no mess. It made no mess. Obviously, you have to buy the liners. I think this is really good because it um, there's 30 liners, but I believe they have more. Super inexpensive. Super inexpensive to get these, and um, they have more like bigger amounts. So I'm gonna see if I love this. This would be a good little investment. It's like one of those things to try. Someone said, "Get some liners." I'm like, huh, okay. So I've got some liners, so we'll try. So I'm gonna let, let this cook for a while, and then um, come back. And then the if the rice is done, I'll take the rice out. And then the beef, I will add to it. I'll make like, I'll put the broccoli in there, let it cook for a little bit, probably when it's almost done. And then I will, actually, you know what? I just thought about it. I've cooked broccoli in the refrigerator from this weekend. Yeah, I'll probably use some of that. Remind me that, remind me. And then I'll just add like a cornstarch and then the liquid to kind of, you know, thicken it and just thicken up and that'll be delicious, delicious dinner. So awesome on this. Great on the crock pot liner. So try some slow cooker liners, just something to try out. Okay, let's get on. I'm gonna pick up my mess and we'll finish with our day. I have a little bit of this lemonade. I'm just gonna mix it up because I know some of you'll drink it. Oh, I know. So I was in the um, kitchen. I was doing a bunch of phone calls. I do phone calls, phone calls, phone calls, phone calls. So I have not been over here to the butler's pantry, and I just realized how gross and disgusting the microwave is. I was like, ew, kids are not covering their food up. So <laughs> let me come in white. We don't really use our microwave very often. Like our old house, we use our microwave all the time. Here, just not so much. But we did this weekend because everybody was heating up there food so it got sloppy joes everywhere so I need to wipe that off I got my plastic containers the ones I got from Timu. I wanted to put these in here. These have been fine in here, but I'm assuming it's better in plastic. We've had them in that metal one and they're not going bad, but inside I was like, I would like to have plastic. So I got this. Oh, there's an extra. And then we had pretzels open. And there's a snack mix. Should I get another pretzel open? I'm going to get two in here. Okay, so what I'm doing over here is I just put the, these out so you can see them. 
if it's out of sight, out of mind, nobody sees it. So again, setting out just so you can see, because they don't always come and look for snacks, but if they're sitting out, they'll eat them. These I do have to get eaten up. I'm like, the date on them is going to be past the day. You got too many tortillas. That's okay. Well, I have a lot. I'll focus on a lot of tortillas. If not, I'll make some freezer tortillas with stuff. I, will, I have a lot of refried beans, but I have to status too, and I still have a package over there. So we'll have more of those today. Focus on eating those up. We got a lot of refried beans and cheese. That'll go a long way for some quick lunches. So this is good here. I'm gonna empty this throw supply. Let's move on to some more. Let's throw some laundry in. It's so much easier doing laundry the way we're doing it. It's like kids all do their own, which is good. So it's basically some towels and ours. Before I turn on, I'll talk. Someone asked me which ones these are. These are the GE. They're the Power Steam One Step Wash and Dry. Power Steam. Do I use the Power Steam? No. But the cool thing is you can, if you have a small load of this, if I just had like one outfit I need to wash and dry before the next day, I can actually set it in a setting. It will wash and dry here, which is crazy. So never, I'm not usually ever, like rarely ever, I don't think ever, if I had to have to do that, I would just stay up. But if I had to, I could, but the beauty is they just work so well, like ridiculously well. I like having, we're, can you hear me? Yeah, we were just in church and we were talking about our little small group, they were talking about what's the worst chore. Someone said washing clothes and I'm like, yes, especially when you don't have a good washer and dryer. Like that last one we had, oh, despised it, despised it, despised it. So this one is just so much better. It just, like it's literally, like, these are towels. They will be, they will be done in 30 minutes possibly less. Crazy how quick everything is. I think today I'm going to wash all my rugs. Those are something I'm going to gather up, I think, and clean. And then I'm going to do my bedding and I'm going to mop. I think I'm going to hand mop the floor. I've been using my robot vacuum, but I think a good, you know, do it with the Norex thing will work out good today. So I'm going to get everything off the floor. So I put the baskets up here. I'm going to collect the rugs so I can vacuum. Okay, that bathroom door is made to use after you use it for the pool. We always forget to use it because we never leave that door unlocked ever. So I just unlocked it, try to remember today to use that bathroom because we usually put a towel on the floor and we like shimmy our way in to use the bathroom. I know, it's so sad, <laughs> but I'll unlock it so we use it today. Part of the day i had to chop brooklyn off at work and so i ran out i have to go i have to return I'm just looking to make sure i got my turn yeah remember that dress i got that brown one it's funny it's like literally the same dress as the i have a white one just like it the brown one just, it's different material it does not fit the same so all good things all right oh hold on actually never mind <laughs> i was just we ordered something and um well the dress for one i have to return and then um there was, uh, I just realized there's another one and I'm like, some, sometimes you have to package something, some things you don't. I obviously, I needed to package something. There's the box, I just need to print off my own label and do it. Anyways, no big deal. So instead of stopping and getting it, I will go print that off at home and bring it back because I'll have to pick her up later. I might as well. So I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run to the bank real quick and then um, our post office because when you get, um, you forward your mail, I, even though I went to the post office, showed my ad got all that stuff done well now they're doing like a two-step authorization so i had um thank goodness love our old postman or or post message from north carolina because my one for my house she called me because she has my number because <laughs> we're good friends and she told me she's like go in and you know go get authorized she goes i'm holding your mail when it comes through i always grab it so i'm like you are super sweet so i need to um go i got that one set well i went to the post office and so i I assumed if they just saw my name, my name, Amy Marion, they would um, just update all of my forwards. But then I have a PO box as well. So I even called our old postmaster and I said, do I have to update that or is it going through? She's like, I haven't seen any problems, but I just got a letter yesterday or this weekend that said I have to go in and upgrade. So she's so sweet because she puts everything in an um, envelope and just mails it to me. So I'm like, how awesome. Good to have small town living. I definitely miss my small town living, but I understand. I mean, I do like city living and being real close to everything too. So anyways, 
I have to go to the post office. So I'm gonna run real quick to the bank first and then the post office. Then back home, I got the vacuums rolling. Hopefully I can like wash the floors. When I get back, they should be done and we'll just continue on with our day. How great. I said small town living I missed, but then I think of my little town here and it's like a smaller town. So it's like my bank is just like right here. It's like right off the road. It's small. It's like community. So just a different small town. So let me run over to the post office so I can uh, get that stuff done too. All right, post office. That took a long time, but I don't know. Who knows? When you go to forward, like you used to just go into the post office and fill out a paper and then they check your ID and go through the system. Well, now they make you do it twice. Well, like I, I got a letter in the mail for my old address. So I came in like right after we moved and then I did that and I assumed it would do all of Amy Marianne's mail and Marianne mail. So I assumed that would be how that worked. Well, no, that was not how that worked because I just uh, had to resubmit a form. I'm like, I'm like, that was like months ago. And they're like, are you getting mail? And I said, yes, thank you. Thank you, Rhonda, for forwarding my mail for me. Oh, craziness, oh well. Okay, so now I am done. I'm gonna have to go back home and um, I will have to print off the um, pecking label and then I'll take it back out when I get to Brooklyn later this afternoon. So now let me go head home, like five minutes away, and hopefully the vacuum should be done by now. And then uh, I'll be moving along, get some more stuff done. I have I have plans in my head of things to get accomplished and let's see if they get let's see if they get accomplished. Okay, random odd jobs. So I'm gonna put away these things. These are all washed. I'm gonna put these away. Just mix them up in here. I took this out because this one's getting all burned and cut from the kids. That's okay. That's what happens. And I do have a, I think, is it this one? These ones did get loose. That's like, it is a little bit bigger though. These are the ones I got from Amazon. These are the ones I got from Timu. So a little bit different, but it's like, it comes off. So, you know what? They're gonna last forever. So I'm just gonna put these in here. So we got more things to use. girls are watching our YouTube videos, I'm like, can you pause it for a minute? I'm like, actually, it probably doesn't really matter because it's my own copyright. <laughs> so this, I'm going to take up the rice is done. Look at it. So what I'm going to do, let's see if I can just kind of pull this out. Let's see if this works like this. Okay, see? <gasps> okay. Is that going to work? That is going to work. Hold on one second. We're going to make this work. Okay, so then this can kind of spread out in here. I just separate my meat. It's all like one big giant ball. Look at that. Okay, so what I'm, I'm going to do, let that keep cooking. Here's my rice. It's in a bag. It's all cooked. So I'm going to just put this in a, you know, a, a pan or whatever, and then not uh, to keep it separate. But that did cook with that separately. I won't even have to clean that. <laughs> so my girls and I weren't feeling the best. I lay on the couch and they're watching uh, old family videos. So I'm like, that's so fun. I'm like, oh my goodness, we're just good, good watching all that good stuff. So I came outside here. I just shut the air off so I could uh, work on this. Bought a long power strip for out here because we have like a short one hanging down here. And so I'm just gonna put this here. I had to turn my washer back on. I have a pot for the only bad thing about those washers is uh, if you go to pause it, obviously if it's full of water, you can't open the front door so or the front door of it. So I paused it and I was like, oh, um, and I realized it was too long. So I pushed start again. And so I 
then I went through a little cycle and it stopped. I'm, I have to look up the logistics. Like if you do that, does that mean you can add something to it or, but obviously it didn't finish it. So I just re put those things in there that I wanted to wash. It was the mop heads. And then I turned it back on a heavy duty wash and then uh, get my rugs cleaned real good. And I'll probably put them outside because it's plenty hot outside and it will dry. So I'm gonna take the strip for, I mean, Greg will eventually put it on the wall or on the, on the side here but we have 10 of these cords. So just to save from having a bunch of power strips. Okay, so that wasn't like, like this can be better done. Like I don't, Greg will probably install the wall, do whatever he wants. I'm just getting it out here, getting everything plugged in because not everything was plugged in. So now everything's plugged in. He can like arrange it however he wants. I just zip tied it up there. It'll be good. He'll be able to put it however he wants. So something to get out of the house. That's all I need to do. I just I realized I unplugged the fiber internet. So do not remove, unplug this cord. I'm like, eh. I just unplugged the cord, so hopefully everything came back on. Something else I've been having sit out here is my extra avocado. I had one more avocado and I wasn't gonna blow it up, but I might as well blow it up. They they were using the, I was like, we don't even use the pool floors this weekend. We did use them. So I'm just gonna blow this up, so I'm gonna put it out for the pool. Perfect. Okay, I'm not, so I need to clean out the pool first. I got a vacuum in there. Pick up the mess out here. I'm not going to do that right now. Kids are going to do that. But they're all filled up. So this is good. I had two um, pumps. One I got with some like air mattress cots for when we moved here. We stayed at the apartment. And I just needed them for very small beds for the kids for less than a week. And so that is the smaller pump than my normal one. So this one I'm going to go put up with the air mattresses so I can uh, pass those along. Let's go back in. Amazon stuff as well, so that just delivered. So let me see what we got. Printer ink. Oh, Jensen wanted some Lego trees. He got those. And Steven loves to paint things, and so we keep buying like individual bottles at Walmart. And so why don't I just get you a set of your own? So paint. He'll be happy for this. I got some of this. I don't have roaches, but I had these under the sink. Took them off, and someone said, "Go get new ones." So they said, "Once you have them, they'll be bad." So I don't know. I'm gonna put those up because we don't have them, but to keep I guess I got this for school too we got these for school talk about that when we do school stuff Steven loves creating things so I got him his some foam sheets shampoo oh cute this is a jewelry box from Brooklyn one that she picked out so this is hers okay small little things I got my roach traps I'm gonna put these back under the sink so it has these and it says you have to put all eight traps out we don't have a roach problem so they're just called palmetto bugs down here so everybody says put them up it smells interesting so I wanted to put them on there was one under the sink here there's one under the butler's pantry sink. I'll probably, I don't, where do you even put them? I don't even know, in the bathrooms? They have behind toilets. Safe for dogs? Okay, maybe I'll put them behind the toilets. I feel weird having a big old thing behind your toilet, but okay, I guess we'll put them under the sink. We don't really have them, so I'll put them under the kitchen sink.
Okay, all I'm gonna do is um, clean this vacuum out. The bar roller has so much hair and fuzz on it, just need to clean it off. So I'm gonna put my rugs out here and just hang them over the chair. There's just a few, they will dry real quick like this. I don't really wanna hang all my laundry out, so that's why I'm not really interested in putting a clothesline up, but this is good just for doing rugs once in a great while. My broccoli, the beef is done. So what I'm gonna do is add, I have some broccoli here and I have some frozen broccoli. I'm gonna put it in there and just let it cook. All I did was add a little bit of cornstarch and water and then I'm just gonna put it in here and just close the lid. It'll just thicken back up. It's still early for dinner, but it'll be done for sure and stay warm here for the afternoon until we eat. So my day is going really good, getting a lot of things done. A um, few other things I wanted to accomplish, but I can work on that tomorrow. Probably I have to go get Brooklyn here, so I gotta run to UPS and then um, go pick her up and then come back home. Dinner should, will be done. I'll probably just go upstairs and work in my office because I got a lot of things to do, some emails, things like that. So I'm gonna get some water for the car ride. Keep grabbing snack mix, so I have cucumbers these out eat these instead of snack mix much better for you in the car i go so i'm going to run to the post office not post office ups drop that off and then pick up Brooklyn. my goal is to drink one of these whole waters i've been trying to be intentional with some of my health stuff and i think i talked last week i said i'd share when i see results i'll let you know when we're going to see results but i'm trying to make marks to like drink this whole water and then i also brought cucumbers i don't know if i can eat the cucumbers and the water we'll see how much we'll see how much i can do <laughs> so i'm gonna go run real quick and pick her up and bring her home yay success got that dropped off and i almost drank all my water which is really good so i'm gonna go grab brooklyn and i head back home All right, so I've been sitting in my office here for the last about, about an hour editing today's video over here. So this is what I've been doing. And then, um, I've, like I said, I've got two girls that don't feel amazing. So they're just kind of like on their own time right now. The boys are happy doing their thing. They ate a late lunch. They're not starving right now. So Brooklyn got home from work and then she had some dinner. Jean's gonna be heading out, so she had some dinner. And I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna grab a plate of food and just eat while I finish up editing. So, so, so good. Look at that. That We added, um, so I had sweet chili sauce. This is delicious so so good so delicious delicious recipe make sure you try this it is really good it freezes really well what i would recommend is keeping your broccoli out of the bag put it in a separate ziploc bag and then um throw it in obviously when it's close to eating time so i'm done i'm done for the day filming right now so what i'm gonna do is finish editing and then i have like a list of things to do like computer wise i have some things i have to take care of for you know just emails and bills and all that fun stuff that goes along with life. So that's what I am going to do tonight. And then guess what? Tomorrow is a whole new day. So we got some things accomplished. That's a good thing. And some days, you know, what? if you don't have anything accomplished, that's okay too. But I'm like, I feel like, okay, I guess I marked some things off my list, but I also added more to my list. <laughs> so it's the ongoing checklist. <laughs> Will it ever get down? I think it will. It'll eventually get down. <laughs> so, all right. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.